Aaron White here with White Stock and Produce. Uh, today I thought I'd kind of update my uh, do-it-yourself electric fencer. Um, I got one posted out here. Uh, my original one that I had was on that little cart. Um, after uh, trying to see how plausible it was, it wasn't very plausible to have that. And so what I ended up doing was um, Taking it off the cart, uh, along with the solar panel, I'll show you here. I've got two solar panels now. Um, like I said, they're about 50 bucks. You can order them uh, online. And uh, so I've got the uh, solar panels placed throughout the farm here and uh, where I need to hook it up to. And then I just got one electric fencer. So when I go through and kind of show you guys here, you'll be able to see how I hook it up and and uh, and so forth. So. Um, flip us over here um, so instead what I got was just a, a little marine box where you put the the um, uh, battery in for when you're on a boat um, it's in here uh, just take this off here I kind of show you what it looks like um, as you can see we got everything going uh, there's a charge uh, and you can see it's kind of um, it's clicking there so it's 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 working right now um, it's not fully charged and I think the the reason why it's not fully charged is because I need to take my solar panel here and tilt it the tilt the pitch just a little bit more because I got it facing still at the summer one uh, right now uh, it's December 22nd so we're talking you know the day after the summer solstice or the uh, winter solstice so it's definitely uh, got a little bit too uh, too flat of a pitch right now, so I need to kind of lower that down, which I'll do that here in a moment. Um, here's my ground. I got a ground uh, throughout the whole farm, so it's just a, a lightning rod that I pounded in, copper lightning rod. Uh, she goes into there, and then uh, this is where the actual... Um, poly wire is that I hook it up right now I got it right there but you got you can hook it up right here um, and what that essentially does I got to I had to run this this uh, this uh, summer because uh, this high tensile one that I put down um, I didn't have it electrified at, at one point and and of course the deer plowed through it um, and a couple of my calves started going underneath it. It wasn't giving them any shock. So I had to run this and my goal, this whole timber here, I got to clean out. So, um, this is just a makeshift right now until, uh, probably next summer when I start working on this and clearing this out and then I'll be able to rerun it how I need to, but it, it's quite simple. Um, you see everything that I talked about in the, uh, the DIY, um, there it is, uh, you got your your fencer in the in the back over here your battery and your charge controller um it's been awesome uh, the cows don't mess with it they get a nice uh two two jewel shock so they definitely get woken up now what i've done though is this wire that runs to uh from the charge controller from the solar panel on down you see here i bought these uh, uh plug-in clips uh, you can buy them at any hardware store that's around and I basically wired it into there and uh, what I can essentially do uh, when I need to move this uh, this uh, charger here all I got to do is just unplug that I leave the solar panel where it's at and then I just take this whole box with me so it's kind of a, a great little uh, tool that I uh, kind of set up like I said the the solar panels are 50 bucks so I bought another one of those and I got that other one placed on another part of the farm and I just periodically when I need this fencer over on that side of the farm I just come out here pick it up and move it over there that little cart wasn't doing it for me but uh, just a little update kind of where I was at and where I'm at now um, it's a great great way I mean this thing has been running Oh, probably about middle of summer when I put this thing up um, after I realized that other one wasn't going to do the job. And uh, she's been delivering a good a good jolt ever since. Um, no calves go in there anymore. Uh, the cows don't 
don't test it um, so anyway uh, you know once you get your cattle trained to, to getting the shock uh, you don't really have to uh, you know worry too much about it they know they learn pretty quick and uh, they kind of stay away so getting that out and, and letting them brush up against that you know there's there's uh, things about when you buy new cows you put them in the lot and you kind of string up a electric fence through the lot kind of let them learn not to they learn very quickly that that type of poly poly wire or high tensile whatever you got out there uh, not to touch it and uh, I've never had to do that um, but you know deliver it depends on how much shock you want to you want to wake them up with and and this two jewel um, that that sucker will will make your toes curl if it gets you so um, anyway uh, just a little update on this fencer um, it's great uh, great deal like I said it's still going strong um, what's really nice I, I do want to emphasize this is if this uh, fencer ever goes out the parts are um, the charge controller it's it it's always going to be between four things it's going to be the battery it's going to be the charge controller it's going to be the fencer or it's going to be the solar panel and i can kind of um kind of figure out which one it is if i take this over to my other solar panel plug it in and it starts working i know the solar panel's out i haven't had that problem yet but um i did have a charge controller go out on me uh it was grounded um had too many weeds growing up around this one and uh uh, it kind of burned out the the charge controller, but those are like I said about ten bucks so um, it was no no need to go out and buy a whole new fencer. I just bought a new charge controller and fired right up and it started working so you know you can definitely uh problem solve if it ever goes out which which uh part is is actually broken so that's one benefit of making your own um, You definitely know what pieces are in there and and what you need to fix is if it ever uh you know fails on your malfunctions so um i know a big thing uh that i didn't really talk about in the other one um i might have touched on a little bit is the ground um that's one of the most important things that you can do for your fencer uh, for it to be able to work at its full capacity you got to get a good ground um i've seen people uh use just regular old t posts drive it in and use that you know and those t posts are only in you know two and a half three feet at most uh, you're not going to get a good ground so you know I, I highly suggest getting a uh, good ground try to go by the recommendations I know uh, the recommendation for this fencer was to have uh, three of these types of ground rods you know spread out and uh, I only got one in and it seems to be doing the the trick I think uh, the three when you you put it down in there I mean these things are I want to say they're eight foot ground rods and I drive them all the way down till there's only six inches sticking out so you know I'm essentially um, you know eight feet down you know down into moisture and what's nice where I'm at right here uh, where this fencer is uh, there's a little gully here so that's always kind of moist and uh, so it definitely keeps it nice and and wet down there to deliver that shock so um, that's the number one thing why you kind of need to have uh, uh, a good ground system if you don't have a good ground system that's the number one thing that's going to make your your fencer go out of commission so anyway i hope you uh you enjoy this video make sure to like it uh check out some of my other videos they're uh they're on there my whole goal is to bring out some new ideas uh to help beginning farmers you know farmer veteran farmers that have been farming for quite a while and and um, put it to use and, and try it out and uh the more uh, you know, the more I get going into this, the more videos I'm going to really try to put out. I always say I'm going to try to do at least four videos a year, and uh, we just had our fourth kid in June, so uh, we <laughs> been a little hectic around the, the homestead, but um, I'm hoping to get a little bit, a couple more videos out uh, this, this winter. I got one right now. I, I'm doing some bale grazing out in my bean stubble. Uh, I'm hoping to do some uh, videos on the bale grazing with that and see how that kind of turns out this spring. But anyway, uh, any questions, comments, feel free to email me. Uh, put them in the comments. I try to respond as, as quick as I can. But anyway, until next time, happy farming.